So in my basement here, I had a couple of in-ceiling speakers that just came with the house, and I wasn't really using them for anything. So I thought, how could I best put them to use? And um, so I was thinking I had this Amazon Echo Dot, which I use to control a lot of things in my basement. And usually I just have it up here at the front of the room, and I just uh, you know, give it commands from the couch. But I notice sometimes when I'm sitting back at my desk, I got to shout at it, and it's annoying if you have to repeat yourself to Alexa, especially when, you have to, when you're yelling it. So it, it really matters in bigger rooms. But what I thought was I would put it up here in my ceiling, which would be pretty cool. Could give it a little Iron Man like Jarvis effect. And also thinking that it would pick up voices a little bit better being raised up. And also I was thinking I would just go ahead and put these speakers to use having the Alexa voice come down from the cloud and um, just give it a little more futuristic feel. And it sound better than this little, little speaker here. So what I had to do was figure out how I was going to get, that, get the speakers hooked up because these aren't powered. So what I had to end up doing was just getting a little two-channel stereo amp. So here's a closer look at the amp here. This is made by a company called Dayton Audio. It's the DTA-1. Uh, this is a $40, it's $40 amp, so about as much as an Echo Dot, really. And um, the nice thing about it is it's, it's 30 watts, so 15 watts to each channel. And, you know, it's really basic and simple. You can see the left and right outputs here. And then you have your power port there. And that's the audio input there, which that plugs into uh, your Amazon Echo device using a 3.5 millimeter you know, just this typical audio jack. The other thing is on the bottom here, it actually takes eight AA batteries. And so that's useful if you want to bring this somewhere to power some speakers where you don't really have um, electricity. You could probably run it for an hour or two, I guess, off eight AA batteries. I don't know for sure, but pretty cool thing to be able to do. Now, even though this is only a 30 watt amp, 15 watts a channel, it's actually plenty loud to push, just pushing Alexa audio through these in-ceiling speakers I have. Now, my instant speakers are pretty sure are six and a half inch speakers, so they could probably take a lot more power, but it's not really necessary. I'm gonna show you how loud these get here just by using only 15 watts. All right, so real quick, just before we get to the audio demo portion, I wanna show you how I installed the Amazon Echo into my actual ceiling tiles. Um, really, once, you fi once I figured out where I wanted to put it, which was just in the corner here, I just gave the uh, tile a quick test and then got this circular saw thing. I, I think it's called a hole saw. Um, anyways, the one I used was 3.25 inches, three and a quarter inches, which turns out to be the perfect size for cutting a hole to make room for an Amazon Echo. I've never used one before. The first time I used one, I had no idea about it, but you're supposed to put the drill bit onto the end of it and then use that as like a pilot guide hole. Uh, so the circular saw, when it touches the surface, it will grab. Uh, if you don't do that, you can see here when I try to install something for a friend, you can really mess up what, what you're working on. So um, yeah, just a little tip there if you've never used one before. And once you punch out the hole, you can see here that the Amazon Echo really just slides right in. Um, to make it even more snug, I did add a little bit of painter's tape around the edge. Uh, once we did that, it's good to go. Then finally, just had to run the cable, for audio cable and the power through the ceiling here, which my dad helped me out with, but ended up taking way longer than it should have. But we finally got it worked out. So in this closet is where I keep, well, <laughs> my Dorito and Cheetos stash. But it's also where I keep the amp that's powering the Amazon Echo. You can see it here. It has a blue LED indicator light. Um, I usually keep it about three quarters, a little bit past three quarters volume level. Um, and, you know, there's not really too much to it. You can see the speaker wires here go to power the in-ceiling speakers. And then here is where I have the 3.5 millimeter audio jack that plugs into the Amazon Echo, uh, which is just right here. And, um, you know, I just run the cable through the ceiling there and output there just because it's a little short. So what I usually do is I just have this tucked up in there and don't really mess with it. Um, it's out of the way and it's always on. And that way the speakers are always responding. So, But, yeah, that's all there really is to it. You can see I just keep it up there and uh, that's how I have it hooked up to the speakers. So let's go ahead and hear a quick comparison. Alexa, space heater on. Turn the basement lights on. Okay. Set the house temperature to 70. It keeps set to 70. Thank you. You're welcome. Alexa, turn the space heater on. Okay. Turn the basement lights on. Okay. Set the house temperature to 70. The heat's set to 70. Thank you. No worries. 
And here's a slightly more obvious comparison. Alexa, who's Warren Buffett? Warren Edward Buffett is an American business magnate, investor, and philanthropist who serves as the chairman and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway. Who's Charlie Munger? Charles Thomas Munger, born January 1, 1924 in Omaha, Nebraska, vice chairman of Berkshire Hathaway Corporation, the diversified investment corporation chaired by investor Warren Buffett. Alexa, who's Warren Buffett? Warren Edward Buffett is an American business magnate, investor, and philanthropist who serves as the chairman and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway. Who's Charlie Munger? Charles Thomas Munger, born January 1, 1924 in Omaha, Nebraska, vice chairman of Berkshire Hathaway Corporation, the diversified investment corporation chaired by investor Warren Buffett. I hope that gave you some relative sense of the differences between the two setups. The main benefit of putting it in the ceiling to me was that it seemed to pick up my voice a lot more accurately and consistently compared to just having it sitting there, with the side bonus of having the echo just feel more integrated into the room. So if you have an extra set of speakers laying around and you're an avid user of your echo device, I think setting up something similar to this, whether it's installing it into a ceiling or maybe even the wall, is definitely worth doing because the mic ends up responding a lot better and it's a nicer overall experience. And to me, it adds a little cool factor as well. But if you have any questions about the setup or anything you've seen in the video, just leave me a comment below as I do my best to respond to all questions and comments. But anyways, thanks a lot for watching. Y'all take care.